Hi guys, Master the Sending here. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a great week. So, today we are going to react to Nickelodeon's Dora the Explorer. So, my kids came up to me and said, Dad, you should do a review on Dora the Explorer. I was a bit like, like a cartoon from 18 years ago. I don't see any point really but they said no it'll be good you know it looks really good you should do a review so I was like fine all right I'll do a review um so let's check it out here we go reacting to Dora the Explorer Dora Dora, 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 the Explorer. What do you mean this is the wrong Dora the Explorer? There's only one Dora the Explorer. It's been going since 2000. Wait, what do you mean that Nickelodeon's made it into a movie? What, an animated one? What? An actual feature length action movie? How does that work? Right, so here we go. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. You know the jungle. It's a part of you. But exploring is not a game. And you don't look before you... Yeah, it's a bit like... Raiders of the Lost Ark or okay, Tomb Raider. We're on to something big, Dora. An ancient city made of gold. And your mother Ooh. and I are going to prove it. And me. So that uh, looks like some sort of Aztec Being in this temple or something like that. Like Diego might help. Ooh, so you're gonna get Diego's in it too. Rapes. The music sounds like this. Go get it! <laughs> Be careful. What? That's what we want to say. Okay, so she's starting in his school. There's Diego. Skinny and tall. You are way more energetic than I remember. Well, Dora, Dora was always a bit energetic. It's, high school. it's life or death. Keep a low profile. Just be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> oh no, backpack! And just be cool, Dora. Okay, what is this? Whoa! <laughs> oh. A flare. Where did you transfer from? The jungle. The jungle. Here's the scavenger hunt list. Team up in groups of four. Oh. Hola, Dora. Hola, Dora. <laughs> You'll help us find your parents and the lost city of gold. Oh, she's been kidnapped. All I see is jungle. Ah, so they've been taken to the jungle. I thought it was oh, like a field trip. Brought a knife on the field trip, everybody. Oh, of course she does. She can carry all sorts in her backpack. I love the mystery. I work with your parents. You're all in danger. Oh, no. We're going to die out here. There's no need to overreact. That's exactly what I'd be like if I got a cobweb in my face. I hate spiders. Oh, a little boot. Oh, it's now or never. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like a sort of I have to keep Tomb Raider or um, Raiders of the Last Dark. Or if anyone's seen the uh, new She's Jumanji awesome. with Dwayne Johnson and Jack Black, and it's a bit like that. Oh, no. Not safe. Dora. And the lost city of gold. This film is not yet rated. Looks alright. I uh, I also wanted to check out a second trailer because it doesn't give much away. So it's important, I find, when watching a trailer, you don't just watch the one because each one shows you a little bit something different. Plus, I've heard this one Dora, is actually better. If you think, think you know Dora. If you think you know Dora. Well, I thought I knew Dora. I thought it was the animated Delicioso. Can you say Delicioso? Delicioso. <laughs> she, she'll grow out of it. <laughs> think again. That was brilliant. Dora, this isn't the jungle. No, no. It's high school. It's life or death. So if I don't talk to you, don't take it personal, okay? We're all just trying to survive. High school's a horrible nightmare. Excuse me. We saw that, man. Who are you? I'm glad you brought it up. I'm just kidding. I don't actually care. <laughs> We're on to something big, Dora. An ancient city made of gold. Wow. We're gonna break some rules. We're coming with you, prima. Oh, look. 
Thor brought a knife on the field trip, everybody. So there is similar. It's a jungle puzzle. Stop pulling levers! The jungle is perfectly safe. Where's boots? Not much of boots in this one. Ah, uh, swiper. Seriously, you had that in your backpack too? Come on, boots. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Quick, Sand! Don't panic. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I ate chili con carne. <laughs> Rated PG. <sighs> so what I thought would be really fun now that we've watched the trailer. Now the trailer's really, uh, it makes that film look really good. It looks really entertaining. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, watching it. It is out now. It come out on August the 2nd. Um, so... What I thought would be fun is let's have a look at the cartoon and compare it with the film. See what Dora, the cartoon Dora of, the, you know, back in 2000 and the movie Dora of 2019, what they look like. And I just want to compare a couple of them. I think that would be a bit fun, you know, see what happens. Also, I talked a bit about who plays the parts and if I know the actors, go into a bit more of what you may have seen them in before or what they're more famous for and um, but i'll be honest the one who plays dora don't have a clue what she's been in um maybe disney or nickelodeon films or something i don't recognize her so if you know what she's been in drop comments below let me know because i would love to know also the dad not sure what he's been in um i believe he's uh quite a big actor in america i don't recognize him um so i don't think there's anything um being in the in the uk that i've seen him in so again drop comments let me know what he's been in um he looks like a good actor. He, he looks like he's quite a funny actor as well. So it'll be good to know. Maybe I can check out more stuff that he may be in. Same with Isabella, Mona. I would love to see, or Mona. I would love to see other stuff that she's in. Because she looks quite entertaining and quite funny in the film. Anyway guys, let's have a look. So Dora is a seven-year-old Latina girl who uh, helps children learn Spanish uh, with her friend boots and her backpack she has pretty much everything in her backpack that helps her to get from where she's going basically each episode of dora the explorer was um she needed to get somewhere usually there'll be like three different points um and so the map would tell you to go here here and then finally you'll get to your location and they sing a song where we did it and dance around and everyone's happy so, Dora Marquez. But looking at the comparison of the characters, um, pretty good. They're both wearing pink t-shirt, which is good. Um, both got brown hair. Both look kind of of um, sort of Latino sort of origin. I, mean, I can't be too sure. The actress who plays the part, if I just have a look, is Isabella uh, Mona. Um, I'm not sure who she is. I'll have a little look up and just see what she's been in. I don't recognise her personally, but, you know. Um, they've got everything, including the purple backpack. And if you look at her left wrist, they even have the little tiny beads as well. And then you have boots. Um, again, they've done it quite well. He looks very similar. Both have a little orange tummy and grey fur. Um, you can't see the full image, but I assure you, he also has that sort of yellowy orange fur on the tip of his tail as well. And look, they both have the little tuft of hair, so that's really good. Um, Boots, in case you guys don't know, is voiced by um, an actor called Danny Trejo. I might be saying that wrong. Trejo? Trejo? Something like that. Um... This is the dude. He's been in a lot of films. A lot of you will recognise him. He's in, uh, you know, plays a lot of cameo roles as well. And here's another image of him. I mean, you wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley, let's be honest. It's quite interesting that he's doing the voice of such a lovable little cute monkey character. 
I mean, Boots, I don't think, talks in the film. I didn't hear him. He does in the cartoon, but in the film, I don't think he talks. So it's just um, Danny Tre Treo um, just making monkey noises, I would imagine. But anyway, let's go on to the next one. This is Swiper, Swiper, no Swiper, no swiping. Oh, man. Um, again, very good. Um, looks very similar. They're both foxes, as you can see. It's got the little um, sort of blue um, sort of bandana on his face. I can't remember what they call it, like the bandit sort of masks. He's wearing little blue gloves, and they both have bushy tails. Um, and no, he's orange with his yellow tummy. He's um, actually voiced by Benicio Del Toro. That um, any uh, fans of the Marvel Universe would know him as the Collector. He's been in also many other films. So you, so far, you've got some big actors who's uh, voicing them um, or appearing in it. So let's check out the next one. And. Um, the mum is played by Eva Longoria, um, most famous for her role in Desperate, uh, Desperate Housewives as Gabrielle. Here's an image of her. Oh, that's uh, that's one for the dads. <laughs> um, but, you know, another image of her. Um, you know, she's quite a big actress. So, on to the next one. So, the dad is played by Michael Penner. Um, again, I don't know him too well. I I think he might have appeared in uh, in the Marvel uh, Universe as well. One of the films. I don't know which one. I don't know him too well as an actor. Um, so I couldn't tell you what he's in. But, you know, that's the dad. And that's the cartoon dad. And we can't forget probably, you know, one of the sort of biggest characters appears in every episode. Unlike some of the other characters. Dora Boots. And this one is will definitely always show up it's a uh, backpack and um as you can see you've got her purple backpack and the cartoon backpack now this one don't have eyes and this one don't sing either this one does though on the backpack loaded up with things and knickknacks too anything that you might need i got inside for you backpack 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 yeah and another character that appears in them all is Map. And he tells them where to go. And he was on every episode. He had his own little song. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I know. I know. A grown adult singing Dora the Explorer. But I watch this religiously when... My eldest, who's 11 now, was little. Um, and, you know, we'd be out and about, and she'd look up to the sky and go, La Luna, which, you know, means the moon. That's not La Luna, that's the moon. She was like, yeah, La Luna. So she started speaking some words in Spanish, and it confused me and her mother. Anyway, guys. So that was the live action Dora the Explorer by Nickelodeon. Now, Dora the Explorer is 19 years old this year. And what I feel Nickelodeon has done with this is um, they've allowed Dora to grow with the fans. I mean, my sister-in-law, um, she was watching it when she was very young. She's about 19 now. Um, so she's roughly the same age as Dora in the film. So the fans when they were kids have now grown with Dora and I think a lot of them would enjoy this movie it, it seems entertaining it's funny my favorite part in the trailers was when she turns around looks at the camera and go hmm delicioso can you say delicioso and then the mum and dad are looking around like uh check her out of that hopefully uh, which was brilliant because in all the cartoons she does that she turns to the camera and she talks to the camera directly uh very similar to what i'm doing right now and the fact that the parents looked confused and they kind of point that out it kind of adds it's it, it, so that is dora as a little girl and she is now grown up she's going to school and everything i think it's brilliant what they've done um i'm definitely going to watch the film my kids are looking forward to it it look it looks really good it does and i think nickelodeon's done a good job um 
it it is it come out august the second so it's been out a couple of days now so you know drop comments below if you've seen it let me know if you enjoyed it or not um i'm definitely gonna go and watch it with my children um so yeah um i'm, I'm quite impressed and as i said nickelodeon's done a very good job i didn't think it was going to work as a live action film but after watching the trailers it does it looks very entertaining it's a kind of a lara croft type scenario but with more of a sort of teenage sort of family friendly element which you know is good and the uh, the actress seems good it's got some very big actors in it as i pointed out as i've done the comparisons some you know some huge actors in some of the parts i mean especially doing the voice of boots and uh, uh swiper the they're big actors they've been going a long long time i mean the one who does the voice of boots he is actually in things like from dust till dawn which is a very old film now by quentin tarantino but an awesome film if you haven't seen it check it out it's a really good film it's kind of vampire -y type film anyway guys um, thank you for watching another one of my video. Please like um, Subscribe if you enjoyed this video um, Check out more of my videos as well. I do other reaction videos. I also do some game videos. I've got a couple of um, um, Scary games uh, that I want to do next. They'll be up and coming soon I want to get back to that because um, I'm speaking to a few of my people uh, my fans um, and they, uh, they've liked the horror movies. To be honest, I think they just like to see me scream and shit myself, which is fine. You know, I'm here to entertain. And if that's what you find entertaining, then I'm your man and I will do that. Anyway, guys, as always, take care of yourself and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.